the power within self dependence when there is darkness all around and sluggishness creeps in without a sound when all you feel is but despair very feet can no more dare when hope is shattered and confidence is on clutches amidst the storm when in vain your heart searches no one to look upon no one to rely no one to lend a shoulder on which you silently cry faith is your friend my friend faith in thyself faith in thyself it's faith that will sail you till the end trust yourself that you can and for sure you surely will stand up as a mountain as hard as the rock challenge the challenge but do not plan and avenge let faith be your armor let faith be your weapon with faith by your stride there isn't a place for vengeance for revenge is like wild justice and wildness is not humane drive yourself with courage let benevolence be your queen with negativity even if you win the race it's the devil who will always hold the reins and the devil can only give pain which makes you a loser again so when things go wrong and you aren't able to drag long bridle the horse of life with the strength of the divine and trust me my friend everything will forever become fine by payal gupta remember the story of the thirsty crow who was wandering in search of water Imagine the crow not as a bird but as a character. Why do you think was the crow flying here and there on a hot lonely afternoon? And each one of us would say that obviously in search of water because he was very thirsty and was desperate for water to quench his thirst. It was a hot summer day. A crow was very thirsty. he flew from place to place looking for water he could not find water anywhere ponds rivers and lakes were all dry the water in the well was too deep the crow was very thirsty for water he flew and flew he was getting both tired and thirsty but he did not give up the search at last he thought death was near and remembered god and started to pray for water he saw a pitcher of water near a house this made him very happy as he thought there must be water in the pitcher he sat on top of the pitcher and looked into it to his great frustration he found that the water was at the bottom of the pitcher he could see the water but his beak could not reach the water he became very sad and started to think how he could reach the water suddenly an idea struck his mind there were stones near the pitcher he picked up the stones from the ground one by one and started dropping them into the pitcher the water began coming up soon the crow could reach it easily he drank the water thanked god and happily flew away